Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to an Amazon sales update. So yeah, yesterday I did some eBay sales, so I thought um, I really do need to do an Amazon sales update as well. Um, what I might be tempted to do is on another sales update at a different time, hopefully still within January, I will actually pull out a load of different sales from December specifically and show you sort of my quarter four sales update. Um, but this isn't going to be that. There's a couple of sales from December in here, but this is mainly first two weeks of January um, sales. So yeah, but I do want to try and do maybe a quarter four sales update for Amazon so you can sort of see um, where the numbers are adding up from and stuff. Because I talk a lot about the numbers I'm doing but I don't show enough of the sales I think to to warrant that talk you know you can talk the talk but can you walk the walk can you match um, match the, uh, that talk with actual uh, cold hard figures so I do want to kind of show a little bit of that but yeah um, without further ado I will get on with this sales update so uh, back in summer or tailing off you know when summer was sort of tailing off end of the car boot season I got uh, these two Star Wars Trilogy, brand new and sealed DVDs, uh, I think it was £5 for the pair, so £2.50 each. I was holding out for a lot more on these, I had them up for £50 each, um, and actually I think I had one up for £60 and the other up for £50, but after a while um, I reassessed the prices and it, was, it just became apparent that I wasn't going to get that. And as I had two pound fifty invested in both of them, I thought to myself, I've just got, to, I've just got to bring the price down and get them sold. There's no point in holding out for a price that you're just never going to get. With Amazon, it's a lot more centric on price. So obviously, if you know if the price falls, you kind of just got to go with that. I mean, there's certain circumstances where you don't want to just waste to the bottom, um, and you may as well hold out and just wait. But I knew, I identified this as what not one of those um, experiences really where I'm going to have to come down with the price. They're not just going to go up in, you know, a month or so. They're going to probably stick at this sort of level. So, yeah, I was still happy. 30 quid from £2.50. Still happy with that. Nice little sale. Um, Half-Life, the Orange Box, Xbox 360. This came from my video game haul from Clint. And uh, there's a video on my channel with that. Um, I've done basically all the video game hauls I've had, I think I've done videos for, so you can go back on my channel, it'll be on my channel somewhere, uh, this video game haul, it might be my most recent large video game haul this, so you shouldn't maybe have to go too far back in my, my video history, um, but yeah, 14 99 this is now just all profit, so I'm quite happy with that, really nice haul, um, a lot of good items in there, a lot of uh, you know, all of them were in fantastic condition. Yeah, just a really, really nice haul that was and lovely to deal with. Again, this was from the same haul, Doom 3, BFG edition, Xbox 360. 13 quid there, nothing outstanding, but again, it's just pure profit, so I'm quite happy. And I think I've still got some video games up there to sell. Not a lot from this haul, but a few. And, um, yeah, I mean, it just, it's just extra, really. Um, most of the consoles, or all of the consoles have gone. Well, all of the consoles have gone that I have uh, listed. I've not listed the Jungle N64 yet because I'm keeping it because I want that to be like a rainy day uh, thing. So if I have a really bad day and, uh, you know, I'm really feeling down about whatever it is, like my sales or, um, you know, I get a load of returns or something, I'm not feeling good about that. I think to myself, right, I'm whacking that N64 on and I can have a good payday from that. So, and obviously that will be all profit once I list that and sell that. So, yeah, that's why I've uh, not listed that yet. But it's one of those things that I just like to, uh, I just like to keep, I just like to keep away as a, as a, a rainy day mentality, I suppose. Um, I was getting quite a few of these Lego uh, 4223, the snow globe. I was buying them, sniping them on eBay from like, you know, £17 to £23. I'm quite happy in sharing these and not, uh, you know, obviously you might be thinking, why are you sharing those, you know, if you've been sniping them? Well, I'm quite happy to share these because um, I snipe a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff, a load of different things that I won't share. Um, it actually, currently, I'm sniping a product on eBay that is doing pretty well for me on Amazon. Not the best profit, I mean, I'm buying them for about nine, £10, selling them for 25 quid, but they're not very big, so they don't incur massive storage charges or 
uh, in ter- or obviously fulfillable fees and things like that, other Amazon fees, um, and they're turning over quite quickly, so I can get quite a few of them and, and turn them over like that. So that's quite good, and obviously that would be something I wouldn't share. But I'm quite happy to, you know, every now and then drop a product for you guys that um, you might get some use out of. So yeah, um, I was, as I say, I'm sniping these from like 17 to 23 quid. I was hoping they'd do a bit better. I had them up for about 60 to 70 pound, being very, very highly optimistic that, you know, that demand would come in and the price would skyrocket. It didn't really do that, to be honest. I think maybe the highest it went up to was like 55, 60 quid, but not like the 70 quid that I was holding out for, like really holding out for. Um, I don't even know whether it touched 60, actually. It might have been about 55, but um, yeah, I mean, I still made profit on them. It's kind of RA margins. It's not, you know, it's not car boot sale margins or eBay kind of profit margins, but still there was some good profit in there, and I cleared all the stock I had of those at that price or... I, you know, I think I might have sold one or two at forty nine ninety nine, and then brought it down a little bit. But I was happy with them, but I was hoping they'd perform a little bit better. Uh, Simpsons PSP, I think this was in the video game haul as well. So I just whacked this in. A little bit lower value though than I would want to send in, but I thought I'd send it in. And uh, yeah, that eventually sold. Nothing really big to, to say there. Uh, Scooby-Doo, Jinx of the Sphinx. Jinx of the Sphinx, that's really hard to say. Um, this was brand new and sealed P uh, PC game. I generally, I, I've sent, I have sent in used P P PC games before. And uh, I'm, I'm just very, very cautious because I don't know which ones require codes and things like that. And I know that there's places you can look to find out whether they need codes and stuff, but and I have done that with the ones I've sent in, but I just don't like dealing with used PS, uh, P, not PS, PC games on Amazon FBA specifically. I just don't like it. So for in the future, I'm just going to be sending in sealed ones. Um, there are select ones that I don't mind sending in. Uh, I mean, black and white comes to mind. I think uh, there's Lord of the Rings game, PC game that springs to mind as well that I'm quite comfortable on. But, you know, majority I'm not very comfortable on. So unless they're like brand new and see, I probably won't be sending them in. 24 euros, 86 for this game. Quite amazed at that. Came in another video game job lot that was ages back. And I'm well in profit on that one as well. Uh, so yeah, quite happy with this one. Nothing more that needs to be said there. Um, Mad Max Trilogy Blu-ray. I think I got this for about 10 quid off eBay. Uh, and 27.99 wasn't the quickest to sell but wasn't the slowest you know maybe a couple of months something like that so yeah i mean it wasn't really quick but it wasn't like 12 months or something so yeah that's that one uh, brand new and sealed again i don't know whether i said brand new and sealed uh, hasbro taboo paid 5.99 in a charity shop for this way back in the early 2017 i didn't send it in until sort of october 2017 into fba because obviously i'd just be incurring storage charges um across the year if i sent it in uh 29.99 quite happy with that i think i can't see the date on here i've actually zoomed in on the uh, pages because i didn't want to give away any personal information of customers um, but no, I think this might have been tail end of December, this sale, so not quite uh, January. But I don't know, it might have been the 1st or 2nd of January. Um, but yes, quite happy with that, nice profit. Uh, this was from the most recent video game job lot. Took a little bit to sell, you know, took a couple of months to go, for maybe three or four months to go. But I was happy with the price I got. This was a boxed console in lovely condition, 60GB uh, hard drive, 119.99 lovely really really happy with that um and as i say i was happy with the price i got i had a few inquiries of, uh, well i had one inquiry i should say uh from a customer from amazon i don't know whether they were the ones to buy it or not but yeah that was quite nice last few sales now gbh i don't know what that stands for uh 1991 sealed uh, dvd box set uh, uh obviously a niche one 54.99 this just shows if you know what you're doing in the category of uh, sealed DVDs, you can make some amazing money. I bought this in a charity shop for $9.99. Um, I was happy to pay the $9.99. You know, it was in a charity shop that 
were just overpriced everything really well you could argue it wasn't overpricing because obviously this was massively undervalued but you know what i mean for a charity shop 9.99 is quite high and a lot of other things were high um but i wasn't bothered about that i was happy to pay that knowing i could make some good money did take a while to sell maybe about six months five six months um but still, it, you know, it's not going to incur massive storage charges with the size of it. So, you know, it wasn't too bad it, it taking a little bit longer to sell. Um, this is another sealed DVD box set. I believe I paid about 15 quid, maybe 20 quid maximum on uh, eBay for this sniping. Um, bit of an odd one, Queer with Folk, um, the first season uh, DVD, 2005. Um, yeah, 49.99 and... Um, yeah, quite happy with that one. Nice sale. I think it took a few months to go as well. This it wasn't the quickest of sales, but it, you know, these are kind of niche DVDs. They're not going to sell really quickly, but you've got to be on it with your sales rank so that then you know you're not going to uh, send in a DVD that's going to take forever and ever to sell, like years, you know. So uh, I am quite on it with my, my with my rankings. And then finally, another item from that uh, recent video game haul of my most recent video game haul i should say um 20 quid kingdom hearts uh, 358 slash two days uh, nintendo ds yeah pretty standard again you know nice sort of bread and butter range nice sale uh, and i'm quite happy with that i actually also wanted to say now we're at the end of the sales update my amazon inventory has gone down massively um i'm at like 230 items on amazon now in uh, upper fba and uh, before chris well I'd say I was about 400 and odd at about sort of Dece early December, late November time when I was really starting to send things up for Christmas. So, I mean, my inventory really did go down over Christmas and that's what you want, you know. Um, but obviously now I need to try and top that up again. So it's all about me trying to find uh, sources of getting sealed dvds getting video games again and really uh topping up that inventory so i do want to try and do that but um since it's not the car boot season it is very it's going to be very hard for me to attain uh, a good amount of you know the video games or sealed media until the car boots come back again and then i can start to get more of it again and and get into a flow so yeah i do need to try and uh Put, you know get my finger on the pulse again with amazon fba and uh, try and find some uh, new ways of sourcing the same items really because i don't want to be paying uh, you know i don't want to be sniping on ebay all the time and paying you know quite a lot of money yes okay i'm going to get a good return on that money but sometimes those items don't sell for a few months so then that really screws up my cash flow if i were, I were to do that so yeah, I've got I've got to try and find new ways of sourcing and cheap ways of sourcing for FBA until the car boots properly start back up again, and then I should be all right anyway. But I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for joining me. If you did like the video, then please do give it a like down below. If you want to comment on any of the sales you have seen here in today's video, then please do so down below in the comment section. And yeah, that'll do it for me. So um, I will say goodbye. So see you in the next one, guys.